Hello, party people. It's Randy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I don't even know if we remember how to do this. Whew. I haven't made a YouTube video, I feel like, a million years. Life and things and things and life and stuff. Okay, here we are. So, I am going to put together my um, Jolly Parton coat of many colors um, necklace that we actually started on the morning coffee show. So, if you know, you know. If you... <laughs> If you know, you know. So on Friday, me and Jefferson um, sat and made a whole bunch of little individual beads. I'll show them to you on the mat when we get down to the mat. Um, as part of our like patchwork for our coat of many colors necklace that I was making. Um, we sent these out in our 12 Days of Christmas kit. So Thunder Horse Santa does 12 Days of Christmas, FYI. And then we make those 12 Days of Christmas on the morning coffee. So even if you did not get to grab a Thunder Horse Ascendant 12 Days of Christmas box, because we're sold out, but even if you didn't get to get one, you might want to come check out the things and stuff, hang out, have coffee, like give you something to do. We do this at 9 a.m. Monday through Friday on the YouTube channel. So... Um, we're doing that on our morning coffee show. So if you want to come hang out with us, maybe grab some things out of your stash that are like similar that might work. You can make along with us if you want to. Any hoot, me and Jeff must have painted, I don't know, it was like four hours or something. Because we're crazy people. And uh, so I have a lot of really cute individual beads for the people in my life. Some of them need a little tweaking. But other than that... Um, yeah, so we didn't have time to put it all together because it was already like four hours into the project. So I was like, oh, let's make a video about it. So here we are. Bye. Jeff's over here waving at me in the corner. Bye, Jefferson. Bye, Bye. Mr. Bunsen. Do you want to take Lily with you? Lily. Bye, Lily. Can't do anything. I literally don't do anything by myself. Look at this hair. Let's wreck. That's how you know it's been a good day. Me and Shannon just been shipping and all that good stuff. We got some new stuff in the mail. I'm super excited. Okay, anyways, down to the mat. La -ta -ta. Here we are. Here we are on the mat. Let me see. Oh, I remember how to do this. Here we go. <laughs> so everybody got a little kit with some wooden beads in it like this. And in here, there's also some india glass everybody got a little sticker they didn't get it in this package i don't know what happened to my package but anyway they got a little sticker all the stickers were different and they all got some wooden beads so on the morning coffee let's see what date was the friday last friday i think i want to say i want to say it was like the third if you want to see me make these beads and see how just silly me and jefferson are Go to the live videos, the playlist live morning coffee morning live, and uh, you can see us actually make these. But we made all of these out of these beads here. So if you missed that portion, these are beads that are representing people in my life. So here we have this one represents Jefferson, my significant other. So it's pink and sparkly. And it has the number four on it because that's our lucky number, right? And it's super cohesive because he likes that kind of thing. <laughs> so that's for Jefferson. This one is for my bear dog who has since passed away. So it is silver on the inside. It's black because he had black fur. But it's all shiny on the inside because he is in, in doggy heaven now. So that's for bear dog. Um, this one is for my mom. So this one is for my mama, Mama Thunder Horse. So Mama Thunder Horse likes to do crochet. And I put a little bit of uh, embroidery floss on there just because it would fit. Why is this not focusing? There we go. And so she likes to do crochet. And then her signature color is pink. It's fuchsia. So she gets this one. This one is for my grandma. Because she is all the colors. She loves to paint. So we patina painted this one. With When I say we, I mean me. And Jeff was talking about stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, so this one is for my grandma. 
because she has all the colors of paint. Um, this one is for my Jakearoo, my Jake dog, because he is Coonhound, and on him, so he's white and black and brown, and then on his neck he has a spot that looks like a heart. That's for my Jake Rooney. This one is for my Lily, because my Lily wears a bandana, and then this is supposed to represent the bone, the little babies she's always carrying around in her mouth. So that's for Lily, Liller. Yeah, she never goes anywhere without it. Now these two, this one is Shannon's bead. This one is for Shannon. Her favorite colors are purple and green. She doesn't like to admit that her favorite color is green, but it is because she's always wearing it. And then this one is for Amber. Now I wanted to glue a few little crystals onto this one. This one's not quite done yet. This one is for my siblings. We, we just rounded all the siblings up into one because I have a lot of them. I have five brothers, two sisters, two cousins who are basically like sisters. So purple represents girls, blue represents boys. This one is for my grandpa. It has, I uh, painted it with a cow pattern on it. So my grandpa owns a farm out in North Dakota. So that one is for grandpa cow pattern. Jefferson made this one for Jordan. This one has all the colors. It's got texture on it. He put some jump rings on there. All kinds of cool things. This is for our daughter. And then this one is for Mr. Bunsen. I did the best I could. I tried to give him kitty ears and a tail. And Mr. Bunsen has an orange collar and a little blue star and a pink bell. And so this one is for Mr. Bunsen. This is not focusing. I did, I did what I could. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. This one is for my Aunt Dixie. So this one is... So my Aunt Dixie is just the string that keeps everything running out at our farm and our family in general. She is the, she's the glue. So she's going to connect probably onto the siblings because they need the most help. <laughs> and then this one here is for the Thunder Chatters. This is all the colors, all the creation, all the people who come and hang out with us in the morning coffee. This is for all of our stuff we're always doing and our sparkliness and I just made this one into a charm so it's going to be a charm well there we go so now we're just going to string it up easy peasy these are just our the rest of our beads that came along with it and there's also findings so we're going to string it up and I might have enough here I'm I'm in debate do I want to make a long necklace that I could like do I want to make a long necklace or do I want to make like a double necklace, like a multi-strand? You know what I think I want to do, honestly, what I will wear most? I think I want to do a long necklace that I can like make it really long and then tie in a knot if I want to. Or I could like double it up. So I think I will do that. And I have one of those little connectors, the little gold connectors with the snap. So I could turn it into a double strand if I wanted. So that's what I'll do. I'm just going to use these and we're going to get some wire. Now this is for me and I'm going to use this wire. This is 0.5. It's quite heavy and I think this is like, I don't even know what this is, like tiger tail wire or something. Um, so I'm just going to use what I have. This I have to use this because it's just laying here. Um, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to get quite a bit of it. I don't know how much I'll need, but... It's just like, I'm not sure where this came from. I found it in the drawer. And I'm just like, we have to use this. I don't understand what's happening. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead. And. Put on my clasp. And we're just going to do a little stringing. Okay. 
pull test is good. We are ready to rock. If you hear some banging around and stuff, uh, Shannon's upstairs. She's uh, posting things on the internet. Jefferson's here. He was just down here talking to me about uh, what the world. I just felt my hand slip on this thing. I don't understand. <laughs> you know how I love to break a crimper. Anyway, um, so if you hear some banging around, that's what's going on up there. Just doing work over here at the Thunder House. Okay, I'm put this aside for now. We're just going to go for it. Gonna go for it. So there's not going to be any rhyme or reason to this, uh, except for the fact that I want to put some of my, um, some of my more decorated beads in the front, obviously, so you can see them. But I'll probably space them out as we go along. I'm literally just putting these on here. There is no, there's no pattern. You could do pattern if you want to. Completely up to you. I'm going to have to put on a bead cover on there, I can see already. Because uh, the first bead I put on was a little long, or a little big. And went over the top of my crimp tube, crimp bead, crimp tube. having a lovely holiday. I think that the Holly Dolly Christmas has been going super spectacularly and it's working out the way I thought that it would. You know sometimes the holidays can be really stressful for people and you just like need a little hot second to get your life together. And if you like to bead and you like to hang out and you're also like oh I gotta make a gift for John's sisters, cousins, and niece who's coming to Christmas. Oh, this one is for the Thunder Ponies. These are for my nieces. Um, you know the 12 days of Christmas is the way to go because it's a pretty fairly easy type of situation. Hey, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'm going to put all these little hangy bits kind of in the front. Yeah, that seems good. And sometimes you need a quick gift and you just like don't want to spend a million years on it, you know? So it works out pretty good. In my personal opinion, everybody seems to be having fun. This morning we made um we made the butterfly swan crystal necklace and earring set and it was super good and one of our ladies said she just hadn't even beaded anything in months and she just came out of her funk with the butterflies and I was like oh yeah it's the way to do it all right I'm gonna start sprinkling in my specialty beads here. I think I'm going to start with I'm in through Benson. I think I'm going to start with Thunder Ponies. And then I'm going to go with Jake Aru. Super cute. Oh, I forgot I gotta get some crystals for Amber to put on her bead. Okay, 
And then I'm going to go with Mom. Bear dog. Jordan. Lily and Mr. Bunsen I'll put down here with these guys. I'm going to go Grandpa, the cow bead. Do these three like this, these two like this. One, two, Lily. I better put a bead in between here. Let's put this little square. No, oh, that's not gonna work. I need just a little bead. Just a little teeny tiny bead. Because I want it to not mess with her little bone. Let's see what I got right here. I got a few little crystals just sitting on my desk. I'll see what I got. Oh, here's a pearl. Oh, it's just, it's just a half real pearl, I guess. Uh, okay, I'll put on a few bicones. Oh wait, I gotta take her off first. Hello. Okay, it's a big bicone, a little bicone, and another little bicone. Then I'll put her back on here. And then two little bicones. And a big bicone. Oh yeah, that works out pretty good. Then it doesn't mess with her baby. <laughs> okay, plain one. Now I gotta have another crystal for this side so it doesn't look funky. Mr. Bunsen. Now I feel like I should space those out there. Not that it matters on my patchwork, whatever, but it's this thing, I guess. Okay, so I got two crystals there. And then Mr. Bunsen. And then two more small crystals. And a larger brown crystal. That 
right. <clears throat> Now these two green ones. That's kind of the extent of the pattern. <laughs> it's kind of the extent of the pattern, I guess. Just making sure all my little animals are spaced out okay. Alright, now back to it. Anyway, we had a good time on the beating. Me and Jeff got to make some memories and just giggle about everything. So it was really fun. Not so serious. I'll put Jefferson right here. Then I think I'll put... Uh, I'll do a couple. I'm going to have to stop eventually and get some crystals for Amber. Now, I think what I'll do is I, I gotta put the siblings here first. And I want them to be pretty close to my aunt so that I can tie the string onto the siblings. I'm gonna do a few beads. I don't wanna do too much though. Gives us. Mm -hmm, I like that. And then I think I could even go a little more. I think I could sneak in grandma in here. Ben Dixie. And then, yeah, I can just bring it down here. I think I might even put on, don't mind this Mr. Bunsen hair, I'll put on a little something on here so it's a little heavier so it don't just be flopping all over the place. It was a little rough. I could have used the leader bead, but whatever. Okay, then I'm going to come down here and tie it on to the siblings. Just any kind of way. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Then we keep going. Mm 
And then we have Shannon. Gotta make Shannon kind of sparkly. Okay, and then I have to get, I have to stop, <laughs> I have to stop, and then I have to get some sparklies for Amber, we gotta give her some something here, so give me one second, I'll be right back. Hello! Okay, so here's what we ended up with. Uh, after all is said and done, I got my Thunder Chatters on there, my Mr. Bunsen, Lily, Grandpa, Grandma, all the brothers and sisters and everything. Everything turned out really nice. I like it. So, here's the thing. How I'm going to wear this is I'm either just going to wear it like this, which actually goes perfectly with this shirt today. This is kind of like a mod shirt, right? Like, you know. So. I can wear it with this. Super cute. Um, I could, if I unsnapped it, I believe I could go around twice if I wanted to. Or, I have one of those dually bobbers. I don't know where it is right now, but it connects two pieces together. So you would just connect it like this and then use that as the clip in the back. We sold those on Morning Coffee um, a couple weeks ago. I, don't, I think mine's upstairs in my jewelry box. But I could also do that with this guy. So I could do a double up, which is cute. I like that. Because then I could layer. I could layer either long or like this. That's cute. Um, so there's that. Or I could go over the top like so. And then I could even add on like a tassel or another pendant of some kind. Maybe like a solid color pendant to like bring it all together, or whatever. But lots of possibilities. And I got all my cute little beads on here. And all my little meanings and all my things. And Jefferson helped me to paint my beads. And so that was really fun to like do with my significant other. Because he doesn't do that stuff all the time, you know. So that's kind of fun memory to do about the necklace. So yeah, and then if I wanted to show off different things, I could just spin it. There we go. I like it. I think it was a really fun project. I like to do things like this when they have some kind of, you know, little meaning or only a meaning that I know about. And then that's kind of what makes it art, you know? So anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, please make sure to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you can find me on the internet again. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.